up, people. This is my cousin's grandson and his buddy from Air New Zealand. They were telling me about their crazy safety videos. Well, I said, if you want to know about survival, talk to us, because you're going to want some advice from folks who have been there and done that. So, this is safety, old school style. Yeah! What did she say? We know you've probably seen it all before, but a few things may have changed a little since you last flew. Make sure any items by your feet are pushed well under the seat in front of you. Gavin McLeod, what's in the box? Oh, hi, Betty. Oh, uh, this is a priceless antique. A priceless antique? What is it? Your sense of humor. Oh. Welcome aboard, Gavin. If the captain switches on the seatbelt sign, pop back into your allocated seat straight away. Put that seatbelt low across your hips and fasten it up. If you do need to get up, release by lifting the lever. These are oxygen masks. And if they drop in front of you, do what my friends here are doing by pulling down on your mask, placing over your nose and mouth and breathing normally. Here you go. Like this. What do you know? You're young enough to be my grandson. I am your grandson. And if you're sitting with others, even a child, make sure your own mask is on before helping with theirs. If you don't see the bags filled with air, don't be alarmed. Oxygen flows through the bag straight away. If an emergency were to happen during takeoff or landing, we recommend this delightful brace position. Or if you can't reach the seat in front of you, put your hands on your head and bend down to your knees with your elbows on the outside and your feet flat on the floor. If you're seated in business premiere, sit upright. Hands on your knees together against the wall and feet on the edge of the ottoman. Your life jacket can be found under your seat. In economy class, it's located under your seat or just off to one side. In premium economy, it's located in your leg rest. Or if you're seated in business premiere, it's located in the ottoman beside you. Remove it from the pouch, put it over your head, clip in the waistband and pull it tight. Pull the rear tag to inflate. <laughs> But don't inflate while seated. Only inflate when leaving the aircraft. Hey! And if your life jacket doesn't inflate, Grandad, you can blow on that red tube. Watch it! There's even life jackets for your baby. No matter where you are, smoking on any aircraft is prohibited at all times. As is any other hanky-panky that creates a bit of heat. In an emergency, we have lights on the floor that will help lead you to the exit. If your eyesight's not what it used to be, or you've forgotten where you are, your flight crew are now pointing out where your nearest exit is. Your nearest exit could well be behind you, so have a look and count the rows to the door. Jimmy, it's your move. Turn off your electronic device. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jimmy, your phone! What? I can't hear you. I turned off my electronic device. All electronic devices must now be switched off. If you are going to use electronic devices such as your phone, switch it to flight mode so it doesn't interfere with the plane's navigation. And always power them off for takeoff and landing. And make sure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned off as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, folks, that's almost a wrap. If you want to recap any of this or find out about those electronic devices, Ask one of these guys, or refer to this card from the pocket in the seat in front of you. <laughs> Here to boogie, my dear. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> from all of us at Air New Zealand, we promise to do everything we can to make your flight an enjoyable experience. It's a pleasure having you on board. We hope you carry on flying with us for a very, very long time. Yeah, yeah. Bring it back. What up, hi there. Let's take it to the back. Uh-huh. <laughs>